Okay, so today we're going to do a happy Easter um, set of lettering. So basically it's coming up to Easter, so we decided that we'd do something like this. It's supposed to be a good revision of our oblique drawing, um, i.e. using our 45 degree set square to do some 3D. And also it'll be good revision and just in terms of letting, setting up grids um, and doing a nice, neat, presentable drawing. So we're going to start off with a position where we start first. So what I figured out is basically just to fit this nice and neatly, we should use roughly the following position. So I'm going to come down, I'm just going to write it here. I'm down 120 and come in 70. And we start with the lettering for the Happy Easter to start off with. So because it's quite large, because quite a lot of lettering, we're going to do 10 millimeters apart rather than 15, which is sometimes what you get in these questions. So I'm down 120. So I'm going to use a light pink to show that everything is, is light that you're going to set up first. And we're going to come in 70. Okay, so the, it's seven squares high, so seven by ten is 170, and it's going to be 28 squares long. Now my set square won't go to 28, so we go to 200, and then we add on an extra eight. Okay, so that's perfect. So we draw a little grid around it first. Okay, and we're happy enough with that. So it makes it quite easy because they're 10 millimeters squares. So we'll do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So every single centimeter is going to be an extra box. So by doing it this way, it keeps us nice and accurate as well. Okay, and the same up to it every 10. So, let's start to draw these across. Okay, so I should have seven light lines across. Okay, now remember, grab your pencil up towards the top here so that you can make sure that it's light. And same here. So even with my pen, I'm grabbing it up towards the top just to draw it light, although with a marker it's very hard to do it completely light. But I'm keeping them a pink just to show to ye that they are light, making squares them as even as possible. Okay, so again I should have 28. And if the last one works out to be a bit uneven for whatever reason, it's more important that it looks a bit square than it's exactly 280 millimeters. If it's a, bit, a little bit less, or a little bit more, I wouldn't worry about it. But the last one over here on this side, we want to try to make roughly even. Okay. So we've quite a bit of lettering to do. So I'm going to come back to that in a second. I'm going to draw my next grid and hopefully I can speed up the video then for that part. Okay, so there's my first grid. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave a gap maybe of about 50. And it's seven squares again, so I'm going down 70. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these lines here to give me my grid. So instead of having to measure them again, I'm literally going to use the lines that I've already figured out to draw here. Now my grid at the bottom is a little bit different in terms of the fact that it needs to be a tiny bit bigger. So when I have all 28 of these done, what I'm going to do is I need two more on the left and two more on the right. That will give me 32. 32 minus 28 is 4. And divided by 2 for the left and the right gives me 4 divided by 2 is 2. So uh, that should give me 2 on either side and that should give it be nice and even. Okay, so most of my squares are fairly good. One or two of them might be a tiny bit off, but again, that's just got to do with the thickness of the the marker when you're doing it you should be able to get them very close to being a perfect square okay so again an important part of this will be make sure that you have a sharp pencil and that it's a two hitch pencil so make sure that you sharpen your pencil before starting make sure there's a two hitch pencil that you pick up to do it okay so i'm going to do all the vertical lines first then i'm going to go to do my two extra on the left my two extra on the right 
and then I'll do all my horizontal ones because if I do them before that I'm going to run into problems and in that I'll have to extend them on a little bit afterwards. So if I do them all now it just makes it easier to do all these in one go and also um, it makes it a little bit quicker. Okay. So, happy enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start heavying in my lettering. So I'm going to carefully count out the squares. So I'm going to start with the H. So the H is a full set of squares. Then the fourth one up, it's two across in the middle and then a full set of squares. But it should be well used to counting these out. And then I have some ones here that are 45 degrees or drawing one corner to another. And basically we'll start to draw in all these various parts. Okay, so it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of concentration, but there we go. I have basically my Happy Easter logo done. Some of the lines are a little bit over thing. Unfortunately, I can't rub them out as simple because I don't have a, a rubber to rub out the marker that I'm using. But for the overall part, they're pretty good. Um, I'd be a little bit neater if I was doing it in pencil, but again, I'm just trying to do it relatively quick. So we have my Happy Easter uh, writing they're done so now what we want to do is we want to make it 3d so for today what we're going to do is we're going to make a 10 mil oblique so go back 10 mil from each point so this is going to take a little bit of work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a light red to go back from everything i'm going to go to the right hand side but you could go from any side okay so i'm going to start drawing these out so my first aim is to go from every corner that has that I can't go inside. So for example, I wouldn't go, let's say here, because it would go on top of the line. I wouldn't go here because it's going to go inside. So what I'll do is the inside lines be parallel to the outside lines. And we'll basically do this. And then go along bit by bit by bit. This one here should be level with this one here. And what we'll do is we'll come back at the end and we'll heavy in. So the first thing I want to do is just basically draw 35 degrees for every single line that I have. Okay, now be the E done. So what I'll do just so that it stands out, I'll take maybe something like a purple or something just to stand it out a bit from the black. It'll probably look the same actually, maybe a, a lighter blue. Stand it out a little bit from the black. But just taking it up a little bit so that it's a bit easier to see on the video. Okay. So what I'm doing is basically just heavying in all the bits that are correct 
Okay, so that's basically the E done. So you'll basically continue on, and from that you'll get all the rest of the letters.